The Sony Link Buds came out of nowhere with a unique design, concept, and sound, especially for those who don't like the ceiling effect of earbuds. To help you experience a fraction of what it sounds like to wear these open back earbuds, I bought an ear. So you can see what it sounds like with and without them on. This is the sound of the outdoors. Very simple, very clear. Now, what does it sound like with the actual Sony Link Buds? And this is what it sounds like with the Sony Link Buds. It's clearly within the ear, but you're still able to hear the surrounding environment. The Link Buds come in two colors, speckled white and speckled black, but this is more of like a gray, but you know. It has a waterproof rating of IPX4, which is kind of like the bare minimum, so it can withstand splashes. I can kind of understand why with the design, why it's not the most sealed off product. So the case is tiny. Look at it compared to the AirPods Pro case. But it actually is made out of recycled automobile parts. So it's good for the environment. I don't like the case, kind of feels a little bit cheap. And overall, the eject button is not the best. I can see why the magnets of the Link Buds are very weak. These would definitely fly out once you drop them. These like wireless charging can only be charged with USB-C. I got around six hours of battery life playing at 50% volume, but you do get around 17 total hours with the charging case. The Link Buds are incredibly light and feel as if there's nothing in your ear. And paired with the open sound, it kind of feels like the audio is playing from inside of your head rather than outside of it. There is definitely a segment of the population that regular silicone tip earbuds just do not fit. And then there's the other side where things like the AirPods traditionally don't fit as well. For me, the Link Buds just don't fit my ears. I would not take these outside for biking or work working out, I just don't trust them. The left one especially keeps falling out. And I know for some people it might be a very secure fit. And I use the extra large, the largest ear wings that these come with, but it flies out all the time. Here are some clips. Okay, I think I got it. The Link Buds are incredibly light. Fit in some ridge, please. Hold on to some ear ridge, please. This will do. This will do. Okay. Fuck. And I followed every direction. This little tip here is supposed to go under this ridge, but for me, it's just not secure. I would hope that the next version actually comes with even bigger ear wings or just a different way of fastening it to your ear, especially if you have larger ears. Basically my ears are about like two inches or so. So maybe if you have a more pronounced ear ridge or I'm 6'4", so I probably have big ears. So I guess it's not for everyone. The Sony Link Buds open ring designs allows you to blend seamlessly the outside environment, of course, with your audio. The spill of the open environment doesn't produce the deepest bass or produces the best overall quality you've seen in other earbuds, but I think it still produces a very interesting and unique experience. And also, while you're listening to your music, you can hear the conversations around you clearly. To eavesdrop, whatever you want to do. Or listen to the traffic or surrounding environments if you're running or biking. Uh, it's pretty cool. You would think with this open ring design that your audio would spill out and people would be able to hear what you're listening to. But surprisingly, that is not the case, even at the loudest volume. Right now, these are playing at the highest volume, about a foot away from a microphone, but you don't really hear anything. Tell me when you do. As for the call quality in a very quiet room, it is a little bit loud and there is some digital processing, but overall it's a pretty standard microphone. But what about outside where there's a lot of noise? So this is the sound of the Sony Link Buds. And not only am I walking past the busy street, there's a lot of wind going on and still it's pretty clear. I'm very impressed. For the controls, the Link Buds operate in a series of double or triple taps. You can either tap the actual Link Bud itself or this area of your face. Now, double tap. Within the Sony Music app, you are able to decide the function of each earbud. So the left can control volume, the right can control media playback. 
It uses the Sony Music app, which is one of the best for headphones and earbuds. It does everything from allowing you to adjust your EQ, change your button layout, and access the features like speak to chat, where the audio pauses whenever you start talking and turns back on whenever you stop after a certain period of time, which you can also set within the app. At this point in time, these do not support Bluetooth multi-point function, and this leads me to this. At 180, this is a very premium device, a very unique design, but I would wait until the Link Buds 2 or the Link Buds 3, where it's able to provide that same unique experience with some of the standards expected for this price range. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself, as well as check out these other Sony reviews that I've done on this channel.